Y'all, this is your boy King Ed the Great coming at y'all with another video. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button for me. Big shout out to everybody that tuned in to the interview that we did last night with Miss Toy. Lovely lady. Lovely lady. Very energetic spirit. She brought great energy to the show. And I will definitely have that episode up real soon. So let's get on to it. So once again, Snoop Doggy Dog is in the news. And he's talking about how he wasn't feeling Tupac's hit him up and he brought negative energy to death row. Let me tell y'all this, man. And this, and if you want to check the interview, this was on Jamel Hill's podcast. Y'all going to have to stop revisiting history, man, revising history. Because they're making it like death row records was like the native tongues movement. They make it like... It was this magical place that everybody worked. It was happily go lucky. And then Tupac came in and it just became all gang banging. Man, look at the history on how it started. Dre got shot in both legs. Snoop had a murder case. Don't man, don't get started on the stories that Suge had about beating people up. The stories. Then you not to mention the fact that you took the funding and basically the funny was basically started off hanging vanilla ice over a balcony. Then, we didn't even start with that. Look at the beefs you guys came in the game with. Y'all came in dissing Luke, Tim Dog, Ice Cube, Easy. Y'all had the, um, y'all was going at the, um, Easy and Ruthless and Bone and all them. Then, you go to 94, 95. Y'all drop. New York, New York, trolling New York City, kicking eight buildings. And they let y'all know what it was when they start busting back. So, and another thing behind the scenes. And this started becoming revealed over the past several years. When Dre dropped that intro, that intro for the Murder with the Case soundtrack, which was a leak. He wanted the Dungeon family involved. He wanted the Lynch mob involved. He wanted Pocket Thug Life involved to get in this situation because he wasn't feeling how the East treated him. It was things like that. So then, he was talking about the track Hit Him Up, how he wasn't feeling it. But yet, you was on stage with Pop when Pop was going at Biggie and Faith and mocking them. You was laughing with him. Matter of fact, you praised it. So... Just stop it, man. Just Snoop need to just go ahead and just be like, look, man, I was with the smoke, too. I I got in the mix just like everybody else did. We grown up from that. We made our mistakes. Me and Dre made our mistakes. We all did our part in making sure Death Row had his rise and falls. We were both us all responsible. So that's my take on that. Let me know what you guys think. This is King Eddie the Great signing out. Holler at your boy.